You know, Yanga, this is life. Crisp, fresh air, early morning sunrise, warm coffee, skyline of Pretoria. Ah, you know, Yanga, me and you, we, we are the axis in exile. You see, you see those two green men in the exile? We, we are those two men. We are exile. Excuse me, madam. We would like to see Mr. Ben. Ben? Do you have an appointment? What did you say your name was? My name is Pete. Like as any. Pete and Henny. Concerning? We are from Chikondeni and we have problems with our uniforms. We have not been issued with new uniforms yet. We request uniforms with our names on the pocket. Pete. And Henny with the double X. I'm not sure Ben is the right person to talk to. Have you spoken to Humoto about this? Humoto? Mr. Machlopi's office, how can I help you? Uh, Magda? Ah, Ben, sorry, I didn't realize it was you. What can I do for you? Is it Ben? I'll be with you in a minute, Pete. Uh, I needed to make a change on our four ball for Deloitte's golf day on Saturday. Ah, uh, yes? Uh, could you try and move my four ball half an hour later? with Hendrix's four ball sliding down to say around 11.30. Okay. And then squeeze in a four ball for Mr. Paul White from Deloitte's between us. Is he in there right now? No. Uh, yes. Mr. Janshis, how are you? Just a moment, sir. 11.30. Just a minute. Mr. Janshis just walked in here, sir. Sit down. Janshis, then please take Max and Tabo out of my four ball and move Mr. van der Waalt from Anglo Inn, and also his wife. Apparently she also plays. I didn't even know that. Max and Tabo out. Mr. van der Waalt and wife in. Would you like some coffee? Great, thanks. Send Mr. Janches in. Coffee would be super. Thank you, Magda. You two gentlemen? Yes, yes please, Mary. Four coffees, please, Agnes. We will see you now. Ah, thank you, Magda. Always good to see you, Mr. Janches. <laughs> Safety is a way of life. <laughs> <laughs> now, gentlemen, about the uniforms. Maybe I can help. Pete, he told me that lady by the office, she communicates to everybody at the same time. <laughs> And, and she can make good coffee. Yeah, but Ipiliring, she will never make coffee. Ah, never. But Henny, he says Ipiliring, she's a good leader because she, she listens to his own ideas. There's a noise on the gearbox, and I think the bearings will fail. Mpo has issued a job card to replace the gearbox during next week's shutdown. Until then, you must watch it closely. Are there any questions? Um, I don't know. I think maybe, why don't we just leave it till it breaks? And when it breaks, we fix it. No, Pete. Breakdown maintenance costs the company more. Oh. You better hang. I, I was just wondering, the pulley also is not going to last very long. If we dislocate the motor, we can change the whole unit. I think it is a much better plan than just changing the gearbox. How oh, Waheni? You can't speak to Ipelegeng like that. She is our leader, ne? S sorry, Ipelegeng. I'm just trying to say. No, Pete. Henny, you might have a good point. Tell us exactly what you mean. Huh? Who, me? Yes, Henny. You have a great idea. Well... I was just thinking by myself. There's still some life left in that pulley, but we will save. 
It will cost us more now, but it's one-time risk and one-time effort, and definitely we will save. Yeni, that's a first-class plan. I'm very impressed. Forget what I said. We will implement any suggestion. I'll get a new job card. Uh, Duma? Yes? We have a new strategy regarding the replacement of that gearbox. We are not doing it as you and I discussed. Okay, why? Henny, he had a brilliant idea. We are rather going to replace the whole unit since that pulley also is nearly finished. It's safer and more economic. Well done, Henny. This is the type of leadership we need at Exaro. Thank you, sir. James. James. Back on, where's your ears? James. Uh. What are you doing? I'm thinking. What are you thinking about? I'm thinking about influence. What about influence? I'm thinking if you want to influence, you must be open for the other to influence you. Good morning to all. We have a long day ahead of us, so let's get started. Maybe before we start, there are one or two things I'd like to say. We need to always remember that it is an honor to lead. It is a privilege that we cannot take for granted. We lead because we want to serve. That being the case, I would like to state that we need to continue the discussion on PIT involvement in influencing executive thinking. In what way? I'm not sure yet. But this morning, I am reminded of a very profound truth. The voice of Exaru lies in the thousands of people who make our vision work. They are the heart of this company. 